Hello and welcome to Our Time with Miss Anderson. This is a walkthrough of your final tree project in which you are going to be adding in the final collage element of the leaves. The leaves are where you're going to get super creative and express yourself using different techniques which I've explained such as frittage, collage, writing, etc. When you are gluing your leaves down, we want to think carefully about the composition that we are going to use. In this next video, I will show you how to glue them down in groupings and using a variety of colors and angles to give a pleasing final composition. Starting to lay out the final tree that I am gonna do. I'll just zoom out real quick here. Um, to zoom in, what I wanna talk to you all about is when you are getting to the point where you are laying this out and you're working with your leaves, you want to put them in groupings. So see how we've got this leaf here and this leaf here. These two are overlapping, but this one's just being pulled out a little to the side and they kind of have this feeling of being fanned out, okay? And I'm actually gonna add quite a few more leaves. This can afford to have a lot more color on it, and maybe I'll even have some falling down here by the roots, okay? Um, but this is where I'm at. None of these are glued down yet either. So let's come in. We're just gonna take a look at these individual groupings. So if you can see here, these leaves all kind of start from this point and fan out. So they're reaching out, out, out. So this is kind of like a little grouping of three. This is like a little grouping of two. And then they've sort of been grouped together to become a grouping of five. So that's what I was trying to explain to you guys. I'm sort of verbally and kind of show you in class is that we want to do our leaves in groupings. And you can play around with sometimes having them not touch like this one right here. And sometimes having them overlap like these two look really nice overlapping. Um, I decided that I was gonna, just going to add a few yellow pieces in. I'm loving this frittage, the rubbing method that I showed you guys. I'm going to do a lot more of those. And then um, just mixing and matching and creating a sense of balance so that even the tree overall, we can see how the leaves sort of fan out this direction and then fan out that direction. But the way you're going to accomplish that, because here they're kind of coming in and out of each other a little bit, but if you can see this area, they're coming out and out and out and out, and they're being staggered, like these two yellow leaves. They're staggered in terms of height, and they're staggered in terms of direction, and then they sort of like start to define these nice areas where you can then fit another one. Now, the pro to using leaves to actually like outline or frittage with is that you don't have to worry as much about the shape. And then I think that these ones look a little bit better overlapping closer to the tree. So that's how I'm gonna kind of work that. And then um, this grouping is a little off, but I can just play with it a little bit more and see how it looks a little bit better there. Not being afraid to go off the page a little. How if I have these two kind of like here, and then do I maybe even wanna put that one there so it's more like a grouping of three. Take a picture before you glue down that final, kind of getting an idea where you want everything to go. Lay it out, let everything be there and kind of exist. And then at the very end, if you want to come back in and do some more writing like I've done along your branches, these are just some of my thoughts that I've had. Um, like I said, this is our creative moment to just reflect on 20, 2021. And think about what kind of colors represent our feelings, observing our feelings, observing the world around us, observing everything that's going on. Take your time, have some fun with this, and in the end, hopefully getting a really creative, fun project that you can be proud of.